always wins. What is up guys, give me the video game scientist from PG Bootcamp here and got a new video. Recently Sonics took the quarantine series May Major against MK Leo with Sonic. This has gotten a lot of people talking about why Sonic is so good online and I wanted to make this video to kind of visually show you why he's so much better. It all comes down to what I like to call the unreactable burst. The unreactable burst is the amount of space a character can cover with any given move before the opponent can shield, air dodge, or counterattack on reaction. In ultimate, it takes about 18 frames for you to react to something, input delay to go by, and the first frame of that input to show up on screen. This is part of the reason why being under Palutena is so scary. Her full hop and her double jump go high very quickly, and her up air itself beats out most moves in the game. So if she does a jump, double jump, up air under you, it covers this much space before you can react with a double jump or an air dodge. This is assuming you're reacting to her jumping and guessing that she's going to up air. So if you're a character with bad aerial drift and she's directly under you, you have to air dodge or double jump at this point if you think she's gonna go for an up air. Above that point, you can react to the jump with a double jump or air dodge. Now, offline, Sonic's unreactable burst for a ton of his moves is amazing. He forces a sort of cat and mouse approach where you have to make guesses, hard reads, etc., to punish his approach. He kind of plays like a Mega Man boss battle, to be honest. So if his offline playstyle is already based on his unreactable burst, then when online takes into account that there is a bare minimum extra five frames of input delay, you got a super buff character. Let me show you what I mean starting with his neutral B homing attack. Now the startup of his homing attack looks and sounds like his spin dash and charge dash, so we're just going to assume that you immediately shield if you see any sort of ball move. We're also going to assume Sonic uses his fastest version of homing attack. Offline, his unreactable burst for his homing attack is about 2.1 training mode blocks. So if you're outside of that 2.1 blocks range and you're looking for a spinny ball move, you will be able to shield on reaction. Obviously, if you're in the air and you're trying to air dodge, they're not invincible in frame one, so it's a little more space, but you get the point. On net play, it's bare minimum five blocks. That's outside of the range of most moves in the game. So if Sonic stays at the edge of that range, he can constantly hit you with homing attack. Um, and that, that's just his homing attack. Remember, this is one move we're talking about. A great example of this was during the grand finals of the main major. Sonic's was off stage and MKLeo was on stage preparing a ledge trap. And Sonic's just let it rip and it hit him. And if it was offline and Leo was looking for that, he would have been able to shield it. And remember, this isn't his only move with a great unreactable burst. Sonic's spin charge and spin dash get greatly improved too. As an example, his charged spin dash goes from seven blocks of unreactable burst space to nine blocks. That's over two thirds the size of Yoshi's. And don't forget, this is just reacting to him releasing the spin dash. It's jump cancelable and has a ton of mix up surrounding it. And not only that, if you hit it, you have about 50 frames to hit confirm it as Sonic. So even online, that is a ton of time. Other characters have way less time to hit confirm and do their combos, but with spin dash and charge dash, Sonic has so much time to react that even if like you had 10 frames of extra delay, he could still combo out of it. And on top of that, it's safe on shield. Normally you have to block it, react to what he does, and then do some sort of counterplay and guess what he's gonna do. Now you have five frames later you're reacting to his follow-up. It just makes everything way harder. So basically Sonic forces you to jump around and read what he's going to do. He completely controls the match. This was already really annoying to deal with in regular tournament play. So with online tournament play, it is directly buffing his main playstyle, which is that unreactable burst we talked about. I don't know if any other character in Smash history has ever played like this. I mean, he played like this in Smash 4 too, and frankly, he was better. But back then, we didn't have this forced online tournament meta that we're in right now. This is why people say online is different. The extra input delay makes certain things, which might be considered gimmicks before, unreactable, and it completely changes the meta. And when you have a character that already takes advantage of input lag and human reaction time, of course they're going to be buffed immensely in online play. So that's the video. If you liked it, consider giving it a like. If you really liked it, consider subscribing. And if you really, really liked it, consider turning on those notifications. I gotta go, I actually have a meeting I have to jump into, so it's back to the lab with me. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, back to the
the lab again. Oh no, back to the lab again. We messed up. Back to the lab again. Not again. Back to the lab again. Uh oh, back to the lab again. Oh no, back to the lab again. We messed up. Back to the lab again. Not again. Back to the lab.